big fourth quarter here. The one thing you're going to look for is execution and find a will to win at home. You know, take care of these fans in the first game. Green. Wrap around Tate. Shen Goon was that basket interference it was. Now, you can get away with you can get away with that in Europe. A lot of people think you should be able to get away with that in the NBA. Agreed. But you can't. Alpi hanging around the rim. I love the possession of attacking the rim, not settling for threes. Those threes will be taken, but not settling for them. For Tons. Well, you, your scouting report said 90% three points <laughs> last year, and he's living to the expectation. Big minutes here right now for Jalen Green. He's going to be the primary ball handle along with DJ Augustine. You're going to get him game experience reps with the game on the line. Yeah, he's still looking for his first made three, though. He's 0 for 6. Nets him. Kispert for the foul line. Kispert was the closer for Gonzaga last year. They fell short in the national championships, but did an excellent job for the Zags player of the year candidate, All-American. And there's Kispert trying to fight over the top of the Shen Goon screen, reaching in and knocking down Augustine. Kispert's going to have a getting welcome to the league right now. He's been a part of a lot of these highlights, and DJ Augustine, the veteran move, understanding that Kispert's hands gets caught in the cookie jar, and that's what these great guards do. They shoot the ball once they feel that contact. So contact there, no whistle, rebound Washington. Right now, you're going to want to fall on a game. You play in training camp and in practice, the three-stop game. You want to get three stops in a row to get yourself back into these games. Now, the drives have been taken away, Craig, but one thing you want to, don't want to do is play with your hands and foul. You want to move your feet and get in the correct position, which takes a lot of anticipatory skills. We have it away for the play foul there. Yeah, that should result in free throws. If I'm not mistaken, you cannot foul a guy before the ball is in, in bounds and automatic free throws. Rockets next next telecast the preseason finale as they are in San Antonio to take on the Spurs. Rockets preseason schedule. They'll be hosting the Heat here on Thursday night, 9 o'clock start. And then uh, north of the border, taking on the Raptors on Monday the 11th. And as we mentioned, that preseason finale in San Antonio on Friday, October the 15th. Oh, Eight straight for the wow. Wizards. They get another crack at it and a wide open running three for Bertans in and out. And a foul on Shingun is, again, um, as good as he was in Turkey as the MVP. My guess is that... Uh, they didn't have quite as many energetic and springy guys in that league as they do in this one, especially none like Montrez Harrell. We talked about finishing possessions. You know, Al P is going to have to grab that rebound and hold on and, and, and chant. Those pesky guards are going to be hanging around the basketball. A great job of, you know, contesting the shot, gets the rebound, now finish it. Shane Goon out, KJ Martin back in. Neto on the Waba. And loses it. Freemere defense from David Nwaba. The word on the street is they call him Uncle Dave in the locker room. I'm not sure who's calling him that or if it's true, but that's the word on the street. <laughs> well, we put up that graphic earlier. All those guys under the age of 25. Augustine, no. Kispert. Bertans. Keeps it alive, and Martin ended up getting Todd. Are they going to count the basket? No, they are not. The one thing, Washington is just quicker to the basketball right now. We see Todd goes up and gets Martin in the air. Foul correctly called on, on the floor, but got to finish possessions all the way through. Play through the whistle, play through the rebound. Just over two minutes gone by here in the fourth. The Rockets have already picked up four, now making five fouls. Wow. So 